Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Avon Colony, and it has been quite a while since I played this game last. I think it's been like a month or so for me. And since that time, a lot of things have changed. The game has gotten a new patch, which changed changes quite a few things. For one thing, they added a building limit, so that I can only have so many buildings on the map unless I uh, tiki a box, which I, and I did tiki it. Because I, I, I know I'm fairly I'm fairly certain I'm far above the limit. I think it's like 500 buildings on the map and we have 691. So that's kind of why the game is a bit chuggy at this point. <laughs> uh, but of course that's not the main point of the patch that was given out. The, the pa main thing was to give you a lot of new things to do. Um, there are a few new, new buildings and new stuffs. The patch mainly fixed or rather uh, enhanced the expedition system. So now all the missions will... Um, will uh, refresh over time, or rather, new things will spawn there, so long games like this one will actually have some new things to do all the time. At least that's my understanding of it. And that means there are a couple of new buildings that um, lets, lets you interact with the main map, or the expedition map. Like this one, Colony Terminal. Uh, we can also upgrade our expedition centers to level 2. Uh, we can make arc launchers, and we can make some kind of energy structure. And all those are kind of interconnected. We'll, we'll look at that in a moment. Of course, we also lost a building. The um, energy batteries are now only two tiers instead of three. Not that that really matters to us, I suppose. But there it is. Um, we're going to start, though. Let's see. Now, our power situation is a bit low, so we'll start there. If I can even remember where these things are. There we go. As I said, as I mentioned, it's been a quite a while since I played, so <laughs> I've forgotten all the finer points of what I was doing. Which is mainly just chugging along until we can get the achievements for, uh, well, very long gameplays, I suppose. Um, where do I want to put this generator? Uh, that's a tier 2. <coughs> yeah, we'll put it there. Doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Just want my power situation to stabilize. And then we can start uh, playing with more fancy things. Like the new expedition system. Speaking of, let's see if we can find our expedition systems. Expedition. Uh, dogs, trade hubs. Did we only have one? Thought we had more. Regardless, we're gonna upgrade it. It's gonna let us do new and fancy things. And I might even want to build a second center now. Maybe. I also want to check and see if there's are any if there are any new research options. I don't think so, but or no. Okay, never mind. Um. At any rate, let's have a look at the expedition maps. If I can remember where the heck to look, it's been so long. Uh, overall map. Yeah, that's another thing. They have changed quite a bit about how the. Uh, see how the uh, game zooms. Let's see, that's the ship. You're gonna go straight home, I think. Uh, isn't there a zoom here? Yes, there is. That's the one I was wondering about. See, they made it so that the zooms work a bit differently. Uh, there's no location there. But can I, like, zoom about here? No, is this all of it? Okay, so this seems to have shrunk a bit. But, uh, it now has a different zoom layer. So, let's see. We can zoom in. So, we get an overview. We can zoom in further. And we get back to the... Then we get the, the more normal stuffs. So, yeah, we no longer need to do any... No longer need to hit that button. We can just zoom out. I don't know if we can zoom further out than this. No. And this overview is kind of nice. But, uh, I don't know. I wonder... 
Imagine if these things were color-coded or something so it was more easy to see what the various buildings were. Oh, this on the other hand could be useful. Okay. Then again, I don't exactly see the details here either. Yeah. No matter. No matter. I can just... Da, da, da. Oh. So, this new colony terminal, does it actually require... Support colonists, but will it support people... Locally or not? Oh, basically, what I'm trying to say is... Um, these 130 colonists, will they only work off-map, or will they work in our colony as well? That is something I'm really curious about, and apparently... Wait... I, I, I did see that this thing had its own hovercart terminal, but does it actually mean... Yeah, it has... Okay, it also... It also counts as a hovercar station, then. In some fashion. I thought, it would, I thought this would only connect to the outside colonies, but that's not the case. It connects to the local hover ter hovercar terminals. And that's gonna make placement a bit iffy. Hmm... <laughs> uh. And it's also a fairly large structure. It's a, it is a skyscraper size building. Uh, did I plan to build anything here? Nah. Did I? Maybe I did. <laughs> Again, it's been so freakish long since I played, so... Uh. Let me see if I can find my entertainment districts and all that fun stuff. Yeah, there we go. Retail centers, VR centers, hospitals. All the fun stuffs of life. Oh, the skyscraper. Yeah, I think you're gonna be down here. You are gonna connect to the, uh, the whole network. That's gonna be interesting. Um. Yeah, right. All the trade-ups are idle because I... Didn't have any contracts. Have they changed that? I know that they, um... The update did specify that we could create trade posts, but I suppose that's what the ARC thing is. Um... <laughs> I'm still getting water in, that's fine. These are still just the colony ship ones, which is fine. Um, let's see then. Where was that other structure? Arc launcher, there we go. It supports an arc vessel that allows the construction of. Yeah, that's fine. It requires 80 power. But what more will you require? That's the thing. I wonder. Gonna put one down here. I want to see what it, what it does. New fancy toys. And battery mode deactivated. That's fine. Have you made it so that this battery stuff will actually reactivate? Because that was one of my absolute pet peeves. Uh, if I can even remember where the heck to look. There we go. Policies. The boosts are there, the artifacts are charging. Yeah, the pulse deactivates. Dang it. Okay, so I'll still have to reactivate it whenever we're out of power. Grumble. Uh, or is this... Oh, okay, that doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, gonna be fine. Let's 
still, we have the Ark launcher now. So, Ark Ship 1. Carrying passengers, nanites, food, uh, installation skewed, okay. So, I don't need one per installation, but I will need uh, one for the construction phase at least. So, let's zoom out. I want to see. Yeah, the Ark Ship is idle. That's fine. Overall map, we are there now. Uh, but there's nothing here. Hmm, okay, so we can set up and set up a remote settlement wherever we want, apparently. Okay. Uh, need 500 nanites. Yeah, okay. Um. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's save up to 500 nanites and see what we can do there. And I also want to see, is there any way for me to, like, select which notifications we get? Did they change that in any way? Uh. No. Well, boo. Still just the, the, those two buttons. Can't have everything, I suppose. So let's see now, the new skyscraper. Fancy thing. Not supporting a remote settlement. Yeah, that's fine. There we go, they're coming in with the hovercraft. The hovercraft anyway. So, you're telling me that those hover cars going there are actually part of the regular uh, road traffic network? Huh. So, can people living here, for example, use this as a hover car station? <laughs> and they're crossing. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Can we... The hover cars from over here crosses over this one. I suppose that's natural, because this building, unlike a normal habitat, is actually set so to, to it can be crossed, right? And it has to be because of these uh, new newfangled modules, or hangars on the top. But no other building can be uh, flown over like that. And uh, most vexingly, these probably still can't be flown over by hover car, because they can't as all the other buildings. And that is a uh, tad annoying. But I can, but I can kind of understand that. Again, the hover ca hover cars were added after the game launched, uh, so it's sort of a tacked-on system. So I understand that the, for pathfinding reasons, they can't really do too much madness there. Yeah, Plague Sports, they're going to be shot down, I think. So that's going to be fine. And if they're not, who cares? Still, this is a fancy building. Spinning around and everything. Uh, aren't you shut down yet? No, you're shut down. Never mind. Hmm. Oh yeah, we had 500 uh, nanites. Let's have a look at the expedition map again. See, we can build a remote settlement. Okay, cool. Maybe I misunderstood how we the um, expedition works then. Uh, expedition stuff worked. Because I don't see anything new on the map. So we can build these wherever we want. Let's let's test this out. Let's try one very close. Uh, so that should send our arc ship there, I suppose. Mm. 
And the Ark ship definitely left the uh, bay, if nothing else. Say, if I zoom out, how do, do the uh, how do these space elevators work? I want to see. Can I move? Dang it! I didn't mean to zoom in. I wanted to move sideways here. Come on. Let's see if I can like. Dang it! Okay, we're still gonna be on the side of the cable. I wanted to see if we can uh, see that see the cars coming straight at us or something. But I suppose we can't move too close to the cables. Oh well. That's fine. Full speed ahead. Uh, our ship has arrived. Yeah. And... I suppose you're building there or something? Yeah, we'll wait and see what happens. Can I move this now? Yes! I can move this. Woohoo! Uh, I didn't miss anything, did I? No. Looks like we've explored everything. So we'll just have to wait and see if something new pops up there. Other than that, I just want to keep the colony alive until the, the re-elections. Because again, the whole reason I was uh, was playing started playing this last map here was to get the achievements for... Um, Five successive wins with 100% support or whatever it was, that kind of achievement. Plus, of course, uh, ruling for 50 souls. And we're about halfway there. 30 now. Uh, minerals exhausted. No more potash. Potash la- Whoa, did, did I build a laser mine? That's not what I meant to do. Doesn't matter now, though. Uh, let's recycle this thing. We don't need it. Anymore. Here comes the winter. Uh, I don't see anything here yet. About the new colony. Of course, I've already lost track of where the heck that building was. That's the problem when your colony grows into the absurd. It hasn't arrived back yet, so... As you recall, the Constitution guarantees your citizens the right to vote on their colony governor. It looks like that time is upon us again. Well, that's fine. Just have to remember to fire up the uh, structure. Once we get closer to the election, let's see now. Once that again, we have to fire it up uh, once winter starts because the election is at the end, isn't it? Yeah. Good news. Your citizens seem happy with your performance, and I think. Yeah. Uh, what is this? this oh yeah, the unity artifact. Good. That's exactly the one I wanted. The arc ship is still outside, so I assume that it's still working on the thingy bob. <laughs> still losing food. No, we're not. Why do we have... This is kind of strange. Oh, of course, that's that's why this number is green while this number here down here is not. Uh, this one, up in, that just tells me the tooltip just tells me how much food I have stored per citizen, right? Whereas the actual production is down there. But I'm fine with that. I, I'm fine with it uh, going down a little bit. I think you're on track to win this referendum. But here's the feedback I've compiled from the city. Interesting. It no longer auto-slows auto down the game on, during disasters. Wait until your citizens seem happy with your performance, and I think you have a good chance to win this referendum. Okay, so let's pause for a second. 
Uh, that's because we're probably short of uh, wheat, right? I don't think we're short of Xeno's age. Actually, we are. Oh dear. Um, can't have that. Let's see. Farming structures. Greenhouses. Xeno's age. Where the heck are our farming fields? This is the only field we had. I thought we spread out for another field or somewhere. Somewheres. Uh, we did grow out of this area, but... Yeah. Fine, let's just plant down a couple of them. Just want to keep the colony together until we hit 50 souls and uh, all these success successive elections, at the very least. Uh, d d d we want to check the colony thing above. There we go. Because we had an artifact that we want to fire off, I think. And the artifact lasts until... Active for half a soul, and I that's still the this right, yeah, so kaboom. Uh we don't need to charge our artifact, we have enough battery power to store, nah, that's fine. Don't need anything else. And I also want to just quick check quickly check on the overview map. Arcship one. Okay, so the ship is now here, right? Uh, we can't build more remote settlements. Must be placed near a settlement, must be placed near a settlement. Okay. So, let's see. Ooh! Things do respawn. We have a little mi mission marker over there. Um... Okay, so we can add a missile battery. We could add a deep core mine, which will give us continuous resources. Though, we will remove colonists and we will have to pay a food and water tax, which is fine, I suppose. Um, energy, same thing. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's try the deep core mine. Can I build, like, multiple of these things? I have no idea. Too close to colony. Too close to installation. Okay, so the Ark ship did finish this thing. But it doesn't return once it's done. Okay. Lesson learned, I suppose. And over there we have something to do. And over here we have something to do. So now things do respawn over time. Good! I'd like to get things verified. I mean, the patches did say that. The patch notes did say this, so... It's not a big surprise. Uh, but I'm gonna be continually uh, confused by the fact that we don't have the... Return button anymore. <laughs> Ugh. Oh well, um, oh, okay, at any, rate, in a, at any rate, in order to build more of these things, we need more of these structures. Uh, and that requires more... Are we out of power again? Ah, for Pete's sake. Um, this, this incredibly power-hungry colony of mine, huh? Uh, Yeah, let's just 
Let's knock it in there. And we need another one, another one of those structures anyway. I'm gonna be fine. Let's put it there. I wanna see if we can build more colonies. And right, we fired off the unity thing. Somewheres. Definitely heard a sound for it at least. Arkship one has arrived. Uh, now the arkship is idle. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but it doesn't return. Okay, so unlike the expedition ship, the arkship does not return once it's done doing th do its doing it doing its thing. Okay, fair enough. Um. So if I told you I wanted a remote solar array, could I connect that to the same outpost? Apparently I can. So let's do that. Can I like click these installations? Or Apparently not when they're built. So how do I interact with these things? Um. How do I interact with these things? It's not through this structure. Where did, where did we put the other... Uh, where did we, did we put the fancy hover car tower? Now let's see if I can find it again. Well, there you are. I can't interact with you there either. Um, through the trade menu maybe? Wait, 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 what's that? Add custom contract. There we go. To create a custom trade contract, you must have at least one remote settlement to trade with. Excellent. So... This is very good indeed. So we can set up some trade routes for goods that we have aplenty. Which are quite a few, actually. Um, my goodness, what do you want to get rid of first? <laughs> That's the thing. I'm, I'm basically looking at this as a way of... Uh, ...balancing our inventory. So, let's see. Yeah, let's try Mirthquake first. Let's give them some drugs. Can I have multiple goods? That has to be a bug. Uh, the thing here specifically states one of each. Um, but this means we can import all kinds of food, which is going to be awesome. Um, where do we even start? Let's start with just plain broccoli. If they grow it. Uh, oh, okay, so we can export various quantities. Imports and exports equivalent to 14 nanites. Huh. I'm trying to understand what the heck it means by this. Imports and exports equivalent to 69 ounces. As you can see, the qualities are going to be different. So, it's not about what... Yeah, there we go. Is this a one-time then? Do we just take whatever they have in their inventory and that's that? I wonder um, if I wanted to send them entire oatmeal instead of an earthquake. Let's see. And import not bread, but broccoli. And just hit OK. Yeah, 
Is it a one-time thing? It's a once only. Okay. Um. Well then. That makes it less interesting than I thought. I thought we could set up some kind of uh, um, long-term trade agreement here. But apparently we can only do a one-for-one -one deal. Which is okay. It's gonna completely destroy the colony though if I <laughs> do this the way I want to. Uh, I guess we'll, better, we'll, we'll let that uh, contract run out and uh, then we'll just... Uh, see what they have to offer us. Regardless, it is definitely time for a short break. Thank you for watching.